So, full time. Burnley won, Arsenal won. Player ratings. Um, sorry, it's a bit late of player ratings. I've been out all day. Um, and yeah, there's going to be no green screen or anything like that today. But I just honestly just can't be bothered. Uh, let's, let's just get right into it. Um, we've, got, we've, got, we've got quite a lot to talk about. Um, so, we drew uh, one, one all with Burnley. Um, and it wasn't deserved. I mean, we didn't really de deserve to lose. Um, we really should have won, if I'm being completely honest. The chances we had. Um, and it's our fault for not taking them. We had like five chances that hit the post right at the end. There's penalty shouts all over the you know field from both teams. Um, and it was just one of them games where it reminded me a lot of, of the of the uh, Wolves game, uh, where you know we we played all right, but just mistakes led to you know not 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 picking up them three points and dropping points. It was like this today. Granite Xhaka, guess how my football club right now? Why why he why do people think he's good enough for this football club? Why do people actually think he he's he's going to take us to to that next step as a football club? Why do people think this? He's not good enough, yeah. And just because he had five six good games, yeah, I praised him for that, and I said, yeah, well done, Granite, you done well. He's back to old, back to his old self, yeah. You know what? I'm just going to pass it to Woods, yeah. Like, why is he putting it across goal in the first place? You can you can blame Leno, you 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 can play Len you can blame Leno and Jacko, yeah, because Leno was. Don't know what he was doing. He's just you know casually out of his line because he didn't think Shaq would turn into an absolute clown and you know just pass it across the woods to, to, to tap it in. And was the celebration was like yeah, uh, what was that? Uh, ch cheers, mate. Yeah, it's it's, it's just a joke. Like Granite Shaq is not good enough for Arsenal Football Club. End of story. Um, but yeah, obviously we start off really really good. Aubameyang scores a really good goal. Um, Nick Pope, you can argue you should have saved it or whatever. I don't care. He, he, it was a good goal. Uh, we we had a few other chances that we really should have scored. That that first half, we should have won. We, we should have, we should have been about fruit three and a up going into that um, going into half time. It's what happens when you, when you don't take your chances, and then obviously Granite Jack turns into an, into an absolute clown. Pardon me, and um, we conceded. And um, yeah, one one. Second half was um, just shocking. If I'm being Honest, I mean, Burnley just sat back, which you would expect them to, because the, the, you know it's one one, and they'll be happy with with a point against us. Um, and let's talk, let's talk about the penalty. So Pe Pepe, the the Pepe one, where he had the shot and it hit the dude's arm. Penalty all day, absolute penalty. What do VAR that listen? What do VAR see that that wasn't a penalty? He's he's actually got his hand out, and you can clearly see he's got his. You clearly, you clearly see he's touched him. It's like they give the Fulham one against Tottenham, yeah, for like barely, like what was it, like down here or something. Then his arms out, out like this, it hits his hand, it hits it hits this bit, it's no penalty. It happened against Hudson Adoy as well for Chelsea. It's like, what is going on with VAR, yeah? Like, 100% a penalty, and that comes down to the officials, and um, yeah, that's obviously. Not Mikael Antetta's fault, but I will get on to Mikael Antetta's fault in a minute. Um, but at the end of the day, the refs got to take a long, hard look at themselves. VAR especially as well, because they're meant to come in. VAR is meant to come in to um, help referees making the mistake and all that stuff. Come on, seriously. Um, now the Burnley one, uh, the red card incident. I don't think that was a red card personally. Um, I know people would say it was. It's it up here, so we can't really argue about that, in my opinion. Um, but, like, the point is, yeah, we, we can't really argue about that because it's hit that one. So, really, sorry about that, guys. Someone's looking at me. But, yeah, what, what I said, I mean, we, we can't really um, moan about that because it, it, it did hit there. It's not really handball. Um, but, yeah, right at the end, Danny Spires hitting the post and all, and all this stuff. Um, it's just one of them games where, you know, we just dropped two points and 
is what it is, you know. Um, but I'm still, I'm, I'm embarrassed to be an Arsenal fan. I'm being real. This is Burnley Football Club. I don't care. Burnley Football Club have beaten us at the Emirates and got a one and got a one all draw against Surf Moor. Mick Arteta turn. Right, Mick Arteta, yeah, I ain't gonna blame you for the penalty because we should have got a penalty. I'm not gonna blame you for, you know Well, actually this is what one thing I blame him for, and this is the only thing I'm gonna blame him for, yeah. I'm Arteta out. End of story. Yeah, I can see he's not good enough. Number one, yeah, he's line up. Nicola Pepe, I, I I don't care what anyone says. Nicolas Pepe scores against Leicester, his reward is bench. We did, we didn't really have to play Saka today, yeah. I know I put him in my lineup and I was dropped William in, or I dropped William in instead. I thought William was a bit average today, but he wasn't the worst. Um, but Nicolas Pepe, why would you drop him if he doesn't start on um, if he does not start against the Arcos? Absolute disgrace. Disgrace, yeah? Because there's no reason why you're dropping him for this game if you're, if you're not going to start against Olympiacos. I, I want to see Pepe on that team sheet, you know, against Olympiacos. If not, it's an absolute disgrace, yeah? So I was, I was annoyed about that because Pepe, he scores every time he scores, you bench, you bench, you bench. Same same thing with Lacazette. He scores uh, three games in a row in a season, you bench. Why does this manager do this? Every time, play, every time players have good performances... Every in a row, yeah, you know what? Let's just bench them and not their confidence. Now watch Pepe gone, you know. And even when Pepe come on, he, 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 he I mean, he obviously should have got one himself a penalty, and he had two other chances that he should have scored as well. So like, I don't see what this manager doesn't get. Like, uh, and another thing, yeah, that I'm on to her out. He's tenth, yeah. We sat Wenger, Arsene Wenger for finishing um, sixth, yeah. One of our worst seasons. We're, we're, this, this will be our worst season as it stands. Um, and then we sat Una Emery for being eighth, yeah? And what, six points off fourth? It's a disgrace, man. Aren't it out? Move on to my player ratings. So, starting off in goal, Bernardo. He's getting a five out of ten. I mean, mainly, yeah, he concedes. And let's talk, let's talk about the guy himself. Why is he in that position in the first place? I don't know. He's getting a five out of ten. Wasn't the greatest, but he did, did make some. He made a really good save from Woods. Where they squared it and yeah, they really should have scored that. But yeah, Leno's gonna get average five for me. Uh, wasn't his best performances because, like I said, the goal. But um, yeah, we're, we're gonna move on to the right back. We actually had a prop, we we had Callum Chambers playing. Yes, out of nowhere, you know what? This shot Callum, Callum Chambers when Cedric Suarez has been playing really good for the past three games. Um, but to be fair, I, I mean, I thought Chambers was alright. He wasn't the best player on the pitch, obviously. Um, he he wasn't the worst. So I'm gonna give him a six, six out of ten for Callum Chambers. Um, he done what he had to do. He didn't really do anything wrong, if if I can't remember correctly. Um, but yeah, you know, um, he did give away the ball a few times, but I'll give him a six out of ten. Uh, moving on to the centre backs, Pablo Mari, David Luiz, both sixes as well for me and real. Uh, maybe five, maybe both fives. I'm not five, five and six. I mean. They weren't really at fault for any of the goals. Um, well, obviously, on the, the one goal, should, the only one goal, should I say, that was obviously Granit Xhaka and Bernardo. But, you know, I think they did what they had to do. I thought that was quite average, so five, five for both of them. Um, Kieran Tierney, six. I'll give the two full-back six. I thought he did really try to do, you know, he, he tried to get up, he tried to... Go forwards. Um, his costume was a bit off today, but yeah, I'll give Tinney and Chambers both six. Uh, move midfield. Thomas Partey. I'll, I'll give Partey a seven, six, seven. Um, I thought that the pass for the um, a Bamian goal to Woody was class. So yeah, I'm gonna give him a six. Um, I keep giving all these players a six. I'm being too generous, but uh, anyway, moving on. Granite Xhaka, three. I don't care, three. This guy is just not good enough. And the, the mistake number one, number two, sideways, backwards. Side, I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of it. Um, moving on, Odegaard, standard five. I thought he really did try, but just wasn't really working it for it today. He made some good passes, but yeah, average five for him. Uh, moving on then, the front three of Bamiyan's getting an eight. Um, had really, I thought he had a really good game. Obviously, he's got his goal, had a few other chances as well. He wasn't like, you know, missing today. So, yeah, he's going to get uh, eight, an 8 out of 10, probably my man of the match. Um, Bakayu Saka, 5, 6. Um, I'll give him a 6 because his work rate was superb, as always. 
Um, but again, he just wasn't really his day to day. But yeah, I'm gonna give Bukayo Saka a six. Willian six as well. Uh, wasn't like I said, wasn't the worst player on the pitch. Um, you know, he's made some good passes, and again, it was another acceptable performance from him, um, in my opinion. So yeah, Williams gonna get six subs. Pepe five. Kite came on, made a difference. Ceballos four. Hit the post. Um, Lacazette three. Um, that he really tr tried to make something. The manager, Mikel Arteta, five out of ten, average. Lineup didn't work because we drew. Um, couldn't help the penalty. Couldn't help, you know. Yeah, like I said, they couldn't help the penalty. Couldn't help that. But he's tactics, lineups. I thought the subs were good, um, but it's the, the, the lineup that really got me. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching, um, and I'll see you guys. For my next video, I think we're playing in the Bucos on Thursday, so I'll be doing dropping a preview of a Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one.